Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but before we get into the video, there is a few things that I want to get into. If you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button and bell so that way you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button for your girl and drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. Okay, guys, like I said, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but I do want to get into some things. And this video today will be about none other than the LL Cool J's. I. You guys have to excuse my ghetto neighbors. But like I was saying, today's video will be about none other than LL Cool J's I Shot You Remix. Now, I'm not gonna mess with the whole song because this song was a pretty wild, it was a pretty wild one. But there is one particular part that I would like to talk about, and it's Foxy Brown's part. We're not gonna skip past. If you guys haven't heard the I Shot Your Remix, go to YouTube and check it out. Put it in Google. The video will pop up. You'll see her. I'm a have something up here but you'll get to hear the lyrics in its entirety and hear her verse along with everyone else's verse who was also on that song because they had prodigy they had fat joe ll it was her it was a couple other people on there too but you can most definitely tell it was some type of new york type of maybe even an early anthem back then but i specifically want to talk about foxy's brown part now i know that she is like on the same level as a little Kim. But some of the things that Foxy said in this song, and yes, your girl has her notes written down, so that way I don't get it wrong, okay? There are some things that I want to discuss. Okay, so first, she talks about girls getting guys to give them minks and flashy rings and driving Jeeps and they're macking, okay? That's what type of setup we're in. That's mostly how it was back in the day anyway, so I can see this coming through. But the next part that I really want to focus on is she says, Bitches, grab your titas or your tatas. Get them niggas for they cheddar. Now hold up, Foxy. They already give me you minks and rings and you driving a Jeeps because I'm pretty sure it's not yours. They probably have bought some people a Jeep back in the day or whatever, but you're getting all this stuff regardless. And then you're selling the ladies... To get the niggas for their cheddar. But that's not the part that throws me off. The part that throws me off is when she says, Won't to the creep on the lights, raw ass cheeks. I'm sexing raw dog without protection. Disease infested. What does that mean? Is she giving these guys a disease? Y'all let me know in the comment section what exactly does Foxy Brown mean in, in this particular sentence. I don't know what she's trying to say in this particular bar. Now, I know that, you know, the, the she's trying to get the girls to get these dudes for their cheddar. They're already getting minks, flashy rings, jeeps, and they're macking. But what does this, I'm sex and raw dog without protection, disease infected. Y'all go check out the song and maybe y'all can have a better breakdown of this than I can. I told y'all this video wasn't going to hold you, but when I saw, when I see something, I got to see if y'all can see it with me or am I just tripping? Is it just me? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this song and about Foxy Brown's verse until the next video.